Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. I'm sending you a video message from Amsterdam. Uh, my name is Jasper Tissen. I actually went to Effort Academy as well. Mrs. Milne asked if I would like to send you guys a message, which of course I'll do. I'm currently preparing for the Olympic Games next year in Tokyo with the Dutch rowing team. First, I'll tell you a little bit about my time at Effort Academy and the years that followed on the way to where I am now, actually. So I started in 1FY in 2004 and stayed all the way to the end of my sixth year in the summer of 2010. Outside of school, I worked at the Effort Bistro on Thursday and Saturday nights and in school I did pretty well in most of my subjects. The hardest one I actually found was standard grade PE, which given today what I'm doing now is a little bit ironic. At the end of my sixth year, I decided not to uh, stay in Scotland as the rest of my friends did. I also had it in my head that I would want to go back to the Netherlands. So I moved back to Rotterdam to start my studies. I started studying a bachelor in international business at the Erasmus University in Rotterdam. Parallel to my studies, I also rode a lot and like a lot, a lot. So at the start, I was a student who also rode. And as I approached the end of my studies, I became more and more a rower who also studied. My studies went, they went reasonably, but the rowing mainly went really well. After my, I finished my master's, I was faced with the decision, okay, I'm gonna, is rowing done now? Was it just something I did as a student? And is it now time to uh, start a career in the finance sector or consultancy? Uh, those are things that interested me. But I actually decided to go for a one last ditch attempt or nothing to try and make the national team. I thought that if I look back on these days in 20 years time, I wanted to make sure that I had done everything I could. It's a pretty long story. It comes down to that I made the team. I'd like to take you guys with me for a look at basically what I do these days. As I'm showing you that, I'm going to pass on three pieces of advice that have actually been given to me by others and that have really meant a lot to me. Yeah, so, so let's, just, let's just go take a look. Okay, so the Dutch way, as you would expect. Take my bike. Oh. It's a little past seven. We're going early this morning because it's going to be a hot day. I'm going to try and beat the heat. I, I don't think it's important that I explain how I interpreted the pieces of advice. I think it's most important that you ponder on it for yourself. Maybe, maybe it's of value to you, maybe it's not. Uh, but I think it's definitely worth thinking about. This morning we're doing strength and conditioning training. Okay, so tip number one, you can achieve phenomenal things. So don't sell yourself short. Tip number two, have the courage to win. Tip number three, take it step by step. I actually never think about when we're going to the Olympic Games or what it's going to be like at the Olympic Games. All I'm focusing on is the little things I have to do today that'll make me get better. And I just do that every day and it's as simple as that. Yeah, it is also that the Effort Academy also Lekker. Volgt. Yeah. Dus, uh, welcome. Okay, so I'm going to send two of you a Dutch Olympic team shirt. Team NL. That's going to go to whoever is closest to giving the right answer. So my question is what is the average weight of the rowers in my team? So that it does not include our coxswain, just, just the guys. Whoever gets closest to the average weight of everybody, I'm gonna send you guys a shirt. Uh, so give it your best guesstimate. Is it the possible? If you're interested, you can follow the rest of my Olympic journey on social media. All right, that's it for me. I wish you all the best. Thanks for your time and take care.